industrial light and magic has created some of the most iconic imagery that cinema has ever seen. For the past 35 years, they have transported us to worlds beyond the reaches of our imagination. Their pioneering and breathtaking visual effects have transformed the way we see movies. We're all jaded when we go to movies. I mean, we watch all kinds of stuff that we aren't supposed to be looking for. We're looking for the seams, we're looking for the cracks. But, you know, when they make you forget all that and pull you into the magic that is the story, then they succeed. Through their masterful blend of art and technology, they have revolutionized movie making and helped to define popular culture. From the sublime to the ridiculous, from E.T. to the amazing work they did on Transformers. ILM loves to find different ways of telling stories visually. They've made us wonder, they've made us marvel, they've made us believe. It's wonderful to know that the tools are there to really begin to get what's in here, you know, out there into the, into the world. And ILM has been leading the charge in that quest since it began. The digital era that dominates modern-day visual effects was ushered in by ILM. Hundreds of artists work collectively to create complex imagery from a variety of elements that combine to perform a masterful illusion. Action! Through their technology, ILM has given filmmakers the means to achieve anything. Photorealistic characters and environments can be created from scratch, such as an Iron Man 2 and Avatar. But these high-tech advancements have not come easy nor have they come overnight. The roots of today's cinema magic goes back over a hundred years. But the revolution of modern visual effects began with a story in a galaxy far, far away. Industrial Light and Magic was formed in 1975 to realize the complicated special effects challenges for a new film called Star Wars, a space adventure dreamed up by a young filmmaker, George Lucas. His vision was unlike anything Hollywood had heard before. With Star Wars, I want to do an action picture. I want to do something where I can pan with the spaceships. I want to do it where there are really short cuts. There's a lot of rhythm, a lot of pace, a lot of movement on the screen. I want it to be very, very cinematic. And at that point in time, that was impossible. You just could not do that with special effects. So when the studio said, well, how are you going to do this? I said, don't worry, we'll figure it out. You know, I, I got to, you know, but I had no idea what I was going to do. At the time, the special effects departments at the major studios were all but gone. So George Lucas was able to buy up old equipment for pennies on the dollar and set up ILM in a Van Nuys, California warehouse. With 20th Century Fox on board, George Lucas and producer Gary Kurtz enlisted photographic effects expert John Dykstra to lead the effort. Dykstra brought together a ragtag group of college students, artists, and engineers whose mixed skills in photography, model making, and mechanics would set the stage for the fantastical space saga. 